What's going on everybody, C4 here. Welcome back to the channel. We are here today for a new episode of our UNLV Rebels Coaching Dynasty with Tom Savage. We got week five and week six on the deck here today. Week six is a buy, so we'll take that time to kind of get an update on where our guys are at statistically and maybe an idea of the conference and where we're at. But today, week five against New Mexico, it is our conference season opener. And it's a winnable game. Corso is taking us. We're three and one. They're two and one, but this is going to be one of the last remaining games of the season that UNLV, from a talent standpoint, might have an edge to a slight edge over our opponents. And if we're going to be completely honest, at three and one, you know, that's a good record to be, but outside the first two games, Minnesota, which he lost, and Arizona, which are, you know, they're an established Pac 12 team. This is like our window that like three wins. I thought Central Michigan, FCS, Northwest, which we'll call North Dakota State, which is actually a very impressive win. But Michigan, Northwest, and uh, New Mexico, I, I was like, these are three that we have to get. Three victories that we absolutely need to get because it doesn't get much easier. I mean, Hawaii's going to be tough. Fresno State will be tough. Nevada, San Jose State, Utah State will be tough. Maybe Air Force will be another easy win. You know, if that could have got lumped up here in the middle of the season. You know, our, our schedule looking like a guy that's, can bench press 600 pounds but got a beer belly you know a little bit soft in the middle tops hard bottoms hard and um i don't know man we're trying to just find our way to keep on stacking wins trying to go to four and one new mexico they're not they're not anything too too crazy i mean looking at their team leaders their quarterback has more interceptions than touchdowns this season the running back is averaging 5.2 yards per carry which is impressive 93 yards a game so they do like to establish the run defensively not much by way of interceptions or sacks so it's a game that as long as our defense which has been playing fairly well like you look at those score lines from our results this season and anything that like you know obviously minnesota's tough but the 34 against arizona the 32 against central michigan the 21 against fcs those were almost all due to offensive turnovers and not necessarily our defense just struggling to to match up with the opposing team's offenses so if we could slowly start to cut out some of the turnovers, some of the mistakes on the offensive side of the ball. And we're still in a learning curve. These guys here are still learning Tom Savage's fucking and chuck it system, which when you're throwing the ball 40 times with a less than stellar offensive line, mistakes are going to happen while we try to get everybody on the same page. But I think here against New Mexico could be a prime opportunity in week five to finally start to show that we're grasping this offense and play turnover-free football. So the win is most important. I would love to get out of this with no turnovers. And go into the bye week, 4-1. and one. So, Tom Savage, first Mountain West Conference game. Wants to show off his offense. Let's get in here and do it. And I'm ready. I'm ready. Usually I'm hype. I'm a little bit hype. But, like, I'm generally hype. I'm so excited just to... It's been two days. Without playing NCAA, I'm in it, man. Like, if I could... If I could just straight up play this every day and just get 10 years in with Savage to see where we're at, I would do that. But looking at UNLV... We got third in the country in yards, first in passing yards. The rush defense is on point. We know New Mexico is very strong running the ball, so that works out very well for our defense. This could be a bloodbath. First drive, defense does a great job, puts the ball in our offense's hands. That's what we do. We get scrambled, we get outside the pocket, and we fire downfield. Brandon Presley, 24 yards. Great first play of the game. Oh, look at that off the line. Williams, a little bit behind him. Such a good athlete, though, can make the adjustment 17 yards. With that, he goes over 500 receiving yards on the season on only 20 catches. So just showing you how much of a big play threat he is. All right, we got Magmar, the fullback, in there. But we'll go right to Williams, the running back, out the flat. Looks good. Gets contact. Enough to move the chains 10 yards on this opening drive. A perfect 4 for 4 for Justin Rogers so far. So we all know the interception, the turnover is coming. I like Tylee Collins right now. He's supposed to be our primary read on this play action. Ugh, X. A little bit late, but we can still make the throw and stay perfect on the drive with Justin Rogers. I'll see the slant. We all know it's there. But Jacob Gasser, right bumper. A lot of people in the comments section want to see a lot more Gasser. He still needs to prove himself in practice to work his way up the depth chart. But he's making the most of his opportunities when he does get his number called. Ooh. Oh my god, we had X. Can we still get there late? No. See, Gasser's a distraction. We Let's just make him a starter. We'll make him a starter this game and see if he does enough to 100% prove that he needs to move up the depth chart. Because right now, man, it's just, you know, the other guys are making plays. It's just tough. 
So many. So we'll bump him up from six. Who do you replace him with? I guess Stevenson has been a little inconsistent. So we'll move Gas from six to four. See what he does with that opportunity. Is that going to go off the off the sack? Man, that was a bad sack. We have Gasser on the field. God, he gets separate. He got separation. That was a bad throw, but he did get separation. Third and goal. It's tough. You have to run the ball, but you know, if you watch this series, you know that's not uh, that's not the strength of this offense. Gasser is our primary read. That's how you know he's a playmaker. Comes to the game, cold off the bat. Oh, we can't go there. The running back got a little bit of separation late, and he should have caught that. That's a touchdown. But, of course, he didn't catch it. And our offense is probably going to come out the field. And we're going to kick the field goal. It's good. Defense gets to stop because that's what they do. Another opportunity to get a touchdown here. It's third and long, third and ten. Not a whole lot of options here in the playbook uh, that we found that's a consistent big-time chain mover when it's third and long. But maybe, just maybe, the screen pass will work, and it does. Yo, Gasser just makes the grab. You didn't notice, pre-play, pre-play, New Mexico's putting their star corner on Gasser. Not on Williams, not on Presley, but they're putting it on Gasser. They know, they respect them. Quickly to Williams, get the ball in your playmaker's hands. Third and two, time, it's about time. It's about time to call our first run play of the game. Williams, six touchdowns on the year, but it's his yards. Between the goal lines that have been few and far between, but that's good for seven. Well, you know we're giving Gasser a chance there. No safety help. I don't think. We'll keep an eye on that safety. Gasser gets a little bit of separation. We're going A. Unbelievable. Salton Stahl with two sacks on the game. Who's this guy? Who's this guy and how can we give him a bag full of money to transfer to us next year? Oh my God. That's the same guy? I was going to say, if that's the same guy, I'm going to need a halftime piss test. But that's just terrible blocking. We gave him a chance. Jump ball. Shadrick Lowry gets the deflection. And punt units coming on the field. Defense gets another stop, though. Lights out. Their lights out. Oh, they didn't pay the power bill because the lights out are on the defense right now. We got Gasser. Let's go. Momentum. Quick momentum. That's actually a hell of coverage from him. I will say this. If there's one thing I don't like about my offense yet, in terms of getting comfortable in Tom Savage's fucking and chucking offense, is that not enough guys continue to look for the ball off script. Because we're constantly just like, it's Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl levels of, of bailing out of the pocket here. And... There we go. That was actually a hell of a ball. Hell of a ball. But the, the guy's got to keep going. Scramble drill time. Because we're, we're always moving back there. The play is never over until it's over. And I feel like a lot of guys, if they, they run their route. And if the ball's not coming to them, kind of put their heads down, aren't looking for the play. Got to get to step that up. Got to get higher awareness. Got to get more comfortable within the system. But that was a hell of a play for 21 yards. That was a good grab. That was a good grab. Tylee Collins on the run. 10 yards. Toe tap. Toe drag swag. Shout out Nate Burleson. Third and two. We got Williams on the slant. Gasser has their star corner on him. A. A was open. Oh, not fast enough. That was just... That was me. It's on me. Just seen him earlier. He missed like the chip shot field goal. New Mexico goes down the field. Scores a touchdown. Not good. We're fine, though. Look at that. Not shaking one bit. We're calm. We're calm, cool, collected. We know we're going to get back in this game. Here we go, Williams. Get to Williams. Get your best playmaker. I know it was a slant. I know it was a slant, but that's also throwing to my running back. Give him a chance. Give him something easy. You already know. You already know. He's up. He's going up the depth chart. This bye week's going to be a great time to evaluate the wide receiver room. Look at him, man. He's G feet up. That guy got paper thin skin. He's veined up the vascularity of that guy's arms, man. He's putting time in the gym. Jacob Gasser. 
He just wants to be legendary. He just wants to be... Oh, you... Two arms too big. You got the David Boston syndrome going on. If arms weren't as big, he would have been... You know, he, he has to resort to being a body catcher because his arms are so massive. It's, it's hard for him to not use his chest to try to catch those balls. And drops happen. Damn it, though. That was a chance to make a big play. Second and ten. Let's go right back to... Let's go to a screen here. The last screen worked well for like ten yards. This one gets blocked up fairly well. Got three guys in front. As, you know, felt like there's a little bit more meat on the bone on that play. Only getting three yards. Less than ideal. We'll go wide short cross. Need a touchdown here. Don't want to at any point for the rest of this game want to be trailing friggin' New Mexico. Oh, oh that's that dude, Justin Roddy. He's not an elite athlete. Like high 70s, low 80s speed, somewhere in that. I don't think he has. He might have like 80 acceleration, 77 speed, somewhere in that range. But look at that. Right here. Look, fools the defender. Oh, the edge rusher thought he was going outside, didn't want to get hit. He went in, met that guy on the line, got the touchdown, 10 yards, and we're back in the lead. Yeah, that's still. Like, that looked like good blocking, but wasn't really. Uh, wasn't really the push we were looking for. Third and two. You know what? Let's, I'm going to give a commitment to our running back here and say, even if it's a draw, it's not actually an ideal play call. Depending on how light the box is, though, this should be... Got to spread out a little bit here. This should be this should be a first down. Or get tackled from behind the line of scrimmage. These ends. These New Mexico ends are, are very impressive. And they just got an instant touchdown, and I'm upset. I'm heated. That was a bad drive. We're a passing offense. We got cocky. Well, he does. No, no reason to overreact. No reason to gas him up more than he needs to. That's Kyle Williams. And that's what he does. Add why I didn't like the safety lurking. So we'll take off with Rodgers and get a new set of downs. I do not like the hits he's taking. He's not the healthiest of quarterbacks. Does not like taking, you know, those punishments over and over and over again. Pretty much any time we, you know, he almost has like a three hit minute maximum. Three hit maximum. He gets hit three times. He's out for a couple plays. Three seconds, we're gonna need a big play here. Even getting field goal range, cut this lead to one. I don't trust my tight end right now, which sucked because he was kind of open there. I've gone to him twice today, and both times he's made me not want to go to him again. There's a lack of lack of trust on this offense right now. 16 seconds to go. Almost midfield. <sighs> Deflection. Don't let him get any points off this, and we'll just kind of view that as a punt. Get in halftime, 21-17. Get the ball. We'll get the ball to start the second half. View that as a punt. There we go. Good job. I saw that a mile away. I saw that a mile away. They baited us. Hook, line, and sinker, they fucking baited us. Hell of a call by that defense. They knew we want that big play right away. They know we don't like playing from behind. And they knew we'd go to Kyle Williams. Luckily, defense bails our asses out. Let's get a long, efficient drive here. Get the offense back into a rhythm. No big shots. Unless it calls for one. Let's get Collins on a slant. We need a slant. Let's just go to the running back of the backfield here. Oh, there we go. Give me more plays like that. We're going to run the ball more. 24 yards. Charles Williams, great blocking. 39, excellent. Fullback. Use the fullback right out the eye. Maybe that's what we're missing. Get you some. Oh, get you some. 
Magmar, 12 yards out the backfield. I like it, man. He's pretty much a fullback as well. Kyle Williams on the slant. Look, he's aggressive. He's mad. He's mad as we are right now. He wants to get this score. He wants to get the lead back. It's blocked up very well. This is an angry offensive line, too, and it's showing. They're actually sticking on their blocks, getting some pressure, being able to knock these guys back a little bit. UNLV regains the lead on Charles Williams' seventh rushing touchdown of the season. Defense responds. Was that a turnover? And we get the turnover. Let's punish them. Let's punish them. Gas is out there in the slot. I feel like he's taking a couple plays off. Like, I literally, I don't, I haven't seen him out there much. We'll just take off Justin Rogers. How's that not a touchdown? Stick the ball out, please. First and goal. It's calling for, calling for a C4 special here. I gave permission for Tom Savage to implement this in his offense. Let's see how well the guys have been practicing it. Not well enough. Guys are in the slot there. Too risky. Too risky. What are we? Give me something good, man. I'm not liking any of these suggestions. Mesh? Let's try mesh. I don't know. I, I honestly, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have an initial read on this play. It's Presley, and if it's not there, I'm gonna try scrambling with Rogers. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna have Godfrey pass pro. We're gonna have Williams pass pro. And I'm just going to bail. We're just going to bail and take it with the QB. Nice. Defense gets another stop. Long drive. Burned off some clock, which is good. Zero points on the board. Mission accomplished. Third and six. Gasser gets open. Gasser, if I can fit this behind that linebacker. I'm shook. Shook with the pick, and I'm shook throwing the ball. It's actually a hell of a play. Hell of a play, given the fact that that linebacker's probably like a 63 overall to make that kind of play. That's a hell of a play. I ain't mad at that, and the defense bails us out yet again. There is some validity to the, to the idea that we can play aggressive, maybe even borderline risky. So our defense has been so damn good this year, getting us the ball back, not, not having us get punished from these turnovers. That sucks. Got here. Stalin. Salton Stahl. Third sack of the game. Having a career day. Oh, that's late. Sloppy. Every time. I came in this game saying I wanted no turnovers almost as badly as I wanted to win. And we had him. Like, Breezy was so far open. And we were like three seconds too late. Think we're Mike Vick in his prime out there. Defense again bails us out, but it's, I'm not happy with this at all. This is not, like, we're gonna have a bad. We're gonna have a bad bye week. This is gonna be a bye week. Everyone's running gassers except Gasser. You know. Another turnover. Finally got punished, man. That lead. We don't deserve to win this game. I'll tell you this right now. If we, we got 535 left to go, 100% we need to lose. Like, we deserve to lose this game. This should be an out. New Mexico's played a lot better. You know, if we didn't have the players that we did, this, this would, we'd have 10 points right now. If we didn't have Jacob Gasser balling out of control. We didn't have Kyle Williams, a wide receiver, being one of the hottest wide receivers in the country. We'd, we'd be down at least two touchdowns right now. Trying to find some consistency here. Let's get a first down. Let's get some drives going. And look, look, the, it breeds confidence. It bre like New Mexico is playing out of their minds right now. We have four picks. Everyone on that defense right now thinks they're going to get an interception. They're going to be the next guy to get a pick. You know, when I, when I played football, when I played soccer in high school, when you play against those cupcake teams, everybody, even the guy like never scored a goal in his whole career, you get excited. Like, man, this guy, su this team sucks. I think I can score a goal this week. That's what this New Mexico defense is right now. And look at that, man. Sacks, TFLs, pass breakups. Now we're losing.
That helps. That helps. Brandon Presley gets his first. Oh, the backup's in. Did we pull him? Gilliam, first pass. It's a bomb and a dart. Look at that. Would have liked to see a little bit more juice for uh, the touchdown there, but I'll take it. I will say one thing about Tate Martell coming potentially UNLV in the offseason. Backup quarterback gets a lot of reps here. A's wide open. And Noah beat eight-yard touchdown. Makes the adjustment. Wasn't a perfect ball. It's still a backup quarterback. McGilliam, two for two. Play likes. Like, I'm not worried about... Oh, there we go. In this stop of the... I'm not worried about Justin Rogers. Those picks, most of them have been on me. Bad reads by me. Not bad throws from him. I, I just like the fact that even when the backup's in, we're, we're, we're playing we're playing well. Collins, Tyleek Collins, there we go. Middle of the field. Oh, there we go. All the juice we needed. Oh, and he gets the juke. Charles Williams, 29 yards. That's dang. That's dang. I'm, I'm not going to lie. We're going to try to run it up. Try to get more points so the game doesn't look as close as it is. But that's, it's over. And that, the update. We're going to be with, uh, luckily the bye's coming up, but it looks like that Hawaii game after the bye, Gilliam's going to be the starter, as Rodgers is going to be out in the next two weeks. Yikes, because I feel like that Hawaii game, you know what kind of area they bring. That's going to be a shootout. We need our quarterback to be on point. What the fuck just happened? What in the f 50 seconds? 